today we're going to do a tear down and clean of this Logitech uh, M187 uh, wireless mini mouse okay very cute little thing over here so I think they designed it uh, main purpose for people to carry it around or maybe for kids to use it uh, but one point to take note uh, I've mentioned this uh, uh, wireless mini mouse so uh, Logitech do, do have this uh, wireless unifying um, technology but this is not you you need to put in a dongle into your uh, PC laptop for it to work so yeah I was given a battery I've took down the um, dongle to test it a bit when I got this from this seller right it's mentioned that the right click once and while it's not uh, working so I've tested it for a good 10 minutes um, it, it works perfectly fine and it looks like a very very new mouse to me because on the white color portion it doesn't show any yellowing or not much dirt and there's no signs of people prying into it like me so for this mouse itself right it retails for around 18 19 dollars in singapore dollars and um, i've just uh, pried out you can see there's three hooks at the rear end of it and there's these two slots that are supposed to sit in there um, so far just a spudger to remove the uh, mouse but uh, usually for this uh, mouse of this price range it should not be very very complex so uh, removing the bottom half right usually i'll look for stickers so uh, the companies they'll use a sticker to hide these screws so one and yes it comes off uh, with a bit of persuasion okay first look inside is a relatively simple pcb then here i'm pointing to the, the slots that sit into the bottom half so there's a technique to shift it up uh, left and right to remove the middle case and the back case so if I'm cl having a closer look this is not your conventional uh, three pin uh, switch so yeah it's a really small switch left right and the center uh, scroll wheel click so removing the PCB board there's this plastic clips one at the bottom one at the middle there you need to uh, loosen it and as well the battery contact points loosen it a bit then you will be able to uh, lift it up with closer inspection right this is uh, quite straightforward uh, board uh, with clean and solid um, solder i don't see any burn marks or on, on the board so i don't see that any chances uh, it will be malfunctioning so I think this is at most I can remove. I don't want to break any plastics or any joints. So we'll stop over here and proceed with uh, our cleaning. I don't have any of these spare two pole switches. So I might go and try my luck on eBay and find some replacement. I might need to use it in the future. Starting the clean up, I'm using IPA to wipe down the top case. Uh, not much dirt found. Uh, similarly for the bottom, it tells me that the previous owner it's uh, have a good habit cleaning, or it might not have been used that often to collect much dirt. Telltale sign will be the seams. So usually uh, if it's a uh, long hours like a gaming mouse you'll find a lot of grime uh, where the seams meet okay as usual the uh, mandatory brushing making sure all the fiber dirt are clean uh, not much for me to do over here because um, from the camera it looks a bit yellowish but in actual it looks really really clean and also one point to take note let's say if uh, you uh, are getting into this hobby of tearing down things you need to have a good set of uh, Torx wrench because quite a fair amount of brands that I use they choose to use uh, Torx screws as compared to the conventional uh, Phillips screws then if you have a set of lousy tools right the, the screws wear off and you won't be able to uh, open up the 
item. Cleaning the board with a contact cleaner. This time round, I chose to uh, spray the solvent onto the brush itself and doing some cleaning instead of spraying it onto the board directly. Because usually when I spray it to the, onto a board, it still takes some time for the solvent to dry up. Usually off camera, I will use a hair dryer to so-called dry up, uh, speed up things. The assembly will be the reverse way, quite straightforward. Putting in the PCB board and uh, securing it onto the two clips. But before we close it up, putting back the battery and testing if there's any lights, the uh, left-right clicks work. It's always a good practice, better than uh, after you encase everything, then you find that you, you, you uh, miss out a screw, miss out a button. That always happens to me. The mouse connected to the laptop um, quite swiftly. Yeah. The thing about wireless mouse, right? Some of the better Bluetooth ones, it um, connects quite quickly. But however, if you're comparing speed, right? Those that uses the dongle will easily um, be faster at connecting. And nowadays, for this. Um, newer mouse, the nano receivers are built very very slim uh, if you don't mind the bump uh, for me I will prefer the Bluetooth because it will uh, allow me to have more ports for expansion the final steps of assembly the mouse looks like new and ready to go Okay guys, that's the end of the video. If you have liked it, enjoy it, uh, learn something from it, uh, do press on the like button. If you want more of this content uh, coming, right, click on the subscribe button. So uh, till the next one, this is Restore Refurb Works. See ya!